my name is Jessica Wyke, and I'm going to be showing you the, the resourcequizzes.com. You can access this through website, app, um, through iOS or Android. It's free for students and teachers to use. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go online to quizzes.com, Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z.com. And what's nice, it does show you over here to the right a nice little um, representation of video of how students are using it, whether it be for homework, it shows you how they can work as teams. Um, so I just thought that was a fun little video of how it can be used within the classroom. So we're going to get started. You can either create your account through your school Gmail account, or you can start new. Um, since I was playing around with this earlier, I am going to use my... Victoria email. Okay, uh, your teacher. And then, however, you want your name to be shown for students. And then you can connect it to your school district. Select your role within your school and what grade level. And then what's nice about this is you can then determine um, what you want to see, which content area you're teaching, what types of quizzes you want to be able to access for your students. Um, something that I haven't seen before is anything with career and technical education. Um, I think that that's really important with secondary um, and accessing that for students. So I'm going to go ahead and collect, or select, sorry, um, the classes that I'm working with. <coughs> So within this, you can create quizzes. You can find quizzes that are already created um, based off whatever lessons or unit objectives you are currently working on. Um, this is a very self-paced formative assessment. You can also use it as a summative assessment um, by stu having students take quizzes as logged in. Okay. So you can search. I'm just going to click on this first one, linear functions. And you can preview everything that you select. You can find more things over here. I'm not sure why it's showing you the skeletal system with quizzes, but it is. So you can go ahead and just click on this and assign it as homework for your class. The one thing is, though, you do need to set up your classes. Um, one thing that's nice about it, since it is connected to Google, you can also set up a link within your Google Classroom for students to be able to um, be in one spot rather than having to go through 18 different spots. So I'm going to click on my quizzes. What's nice about this is you can create your own quizzes based off your learning objectives. And you can either teleport from those quizzes that were available on that first page or you can create your new, new quiz. So with this, with like the same R model, I think that this is a great substitution by doing a quiz online versus on paper. I also think it's a great idea for redefinition because with each of the quizzes, you have data that's shown um, from the teacher's side that shows you how long it takes to answer each question, um, how many students are getting each question correct, and you're able to redefine what that lesson looks like within your classroom and whether or not you need to reteach each of those lessons. One thing I do want to point out when you're creating a new question, if you're a math teacher, you have that aspect of actual math equations and math type, which a lot of resources don't include. I found this is a really great idea. Also, for our elementary, you can add images for your answers or even as your question, so that allows more adaptability for each of our instructors. Thank you.